Hey everybody, this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm Sean Powers, here to remind you to learn everything and do what you love, and most importantly, be kind, sometimes to yourself. <laughs> That's even more important than uh, to others. So the past couple of days have been chaotic for me. I had this main computer that I use, which was has been a Windows computer. It's actually a pretty beefy Windows computer, uh, but I'd be recording something I'd like do an entire like hour long recording. And then when I went to edit it, the audio would be garbled and it was random. It didn't happen all the time. It was intermittent, very hard to track down. So I'm like, I, that's it. I'm going to reinstall windows because I feel frustrated. And then as I was backing up my files, like windows did that thing where it's like, Oh, transfer files, transfer files. Oh, I'm not going to transfer files. I'm just going to go really slow. Oh, transfer fast. Oh, go really slow. And I just got super duper frustrated. So I decided, you know what, I, I'm rather than trying to reinstall Windows, I'm going to try to run Linux on my desktop, which I haven't done in a very long time. Normally they have the Mac. I can't afford a Mac right now. So I have a Windows machine and, you know, I'll just use SSH to do my day job, you know, connect to all the servers and stuff. Um, but I thought I'll try to go all in with uh, Linux this time and uh, well, you don't see it yet, but what you're going to see is kind of where I am right now with that. It's uh, it's going OK. Now, hopefully you can still see me, uh, but in the corner, but uh, and my office is a total, uh, total wreck. But anyway, what I have, I have three. No, I have four monitors. So this is a 30 inch uh, Dell monitor. This is a 30 inch Dell monitor. This is a 27 inch Dell monitor. It's not quite as high res and obviously it's in portrait mode. Uh, that used to be a monitor that used to sit right there uh, so that I could see myself while I was recording. And then the fourth screen is this Wacom tablet here. Um, anyway, that's all the ports that I have on my uh, NVIDIA 3090. And so that's, uh, those are the uh, monitors that I have plugged in. Now the problem, well, there's so many problems. The first big problem is that uh, NVIDIA drivers uh, use a proprietary system and Ubuntu is changing to Wayland instead of X11. And that doesn't work with NVIDIA quite yet. So like it defaults back, but it doesn't always switch during the install. Anyway, I had a nightmare of a time getting it going. You may have seen my tweet uh, where I uh, just like had a total system emergency crash thing and I had to reinstall a bunch of times. Anyway, um, on top of that, well, you get two of me now while I was, uh, installing or while I was getting it set up, I noticed that there was some intermittent power issues, which may have been the problem with the garbled audio all along. And so I, uh, tried to rearrange things to make sure that, you know, all the power things are right. I ended up replacing the power supply, but it uses different pinouts, even though they fit. And so I completely burned up um, one of my, actually this drive right down here, this three terabyte uh, Western digital purple drive, um, completely burned it up because the ATA power was screwed up and somehow it, it burned that up. I uh, like, oh, this down here, this is a uh, really nice, uh, seven port uh, USB card that I would have loved to have all those extra USB ports, but it also got burned up with ATA power that wasn't the proper voltage. Um, this is a really nice Elgato 4K60 Pro Mark II, uh, but there are no drivers for Linux at all, so I can't use that. Right now I'm using USB um, Elgato and then a, a cheap one. This is actually running on a really cheap USB to HDMI, HDMI thing. But anyway, that's um, hardware wise. That's it. Oh, I have back here. Uh, the Wave XLR does not work with Linux, but uh, that's a Scarlet 2i2. And actually, it's what's in current use because you can see the light uh, flickering. And then I have the Sure transmitter. Woo. Sorry, that was probably unpleasant. Uh, along with this uh, Sure transmitter or that's the receiver, that's the transmitter. That's the one that was giving me the garbled audio so bad. Um, anyway, I think everything that, I, that I'm that i able to use is working. Uh, Stream Deck, there is a, um, I mean, it's, it, it's not great. It's not perfect, and I haven't put icons on it yet, uh, but there is a third party um, availability or there's a third-party program that you can program your Steam your Stream Deck, and then this is the camera 
uh, when I'm doing, uh, uh, like normally presenting my slides and stuff, that's the camera that shows my face in the corner. Um, let's go, let's do a quick tour of software. Uh, so I use, uh, it's actually a web app, TweetDeck. I make a standalone app for that. Uh, I use Signal and Telegram and Slack. And down here, uh, this looks like a Mac because I'm actually using uh, no machine or the NX protocol to connect to a tiny old, uh, well, it's under here, I'll show you. Uh, this old Mac mini, uh, which just sits on top of my tower. Anyway, it uh, is running and I connect to it because my family uses uh, iPhones. So iMessage and I can text and do iMessages there. And then there's a parcel app that I use to track like deliveries and my shopping list syncs with my phone and I can share it with my family. It looks like we need kitty litter, bread and oat milk. You don't want to mix those up. Uh, like I said, Slack, uh, Twitter, uh, OBS, use OBS. Over here we have Discord, which I am not good at Discord still, uh, but it it's uh, something that I use a lot. Uh, this is Trillium, which is what I do weekend assignments with. And you can see I'm working on weekend assignment number seven. Uh, this is actually just a web app that I wrote for my day job. Not terribly interesting, uh, but it does its job fairly well. And it's another uh, like uh, standalone web app that I just use like Chrome. Actually, I use a, a, a Mint application called like web app that creates them really nicely. And is that it? Uh, this is just a this is just a wireless charger. That's not actually connected to the computer. Uh, those are my studio monitor speakers. Oh, up here, uh, which is what's looking at my face. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, this is a Sony A6400, I think. Those are a bunch of spots up there in my closet. Um, plushies. This is now connected to an Elgato Camlink 4K USB device, which they're not as stable as as this guy was uh but they work pretty well you know so i mean it should be it should be okay i shouldn't have any i mean that's what we're looking at with the face cam right now is that one so uh that's that this is my re20 uh oh, i have lights i guess i could show you my lights these are elgato air lights um and this is just a cheap lamp uh, oh this is my hair light up here and that, uh, I don't know if you can see it, is a motion detection or detector that actually uh, turns all my lights on when I when I come in. And uh, when I leave, when there's no motion for a while, it turns all the lights off. So yeah, let's do a, a quick look on the computer itself, some of the frustrations that I've had today. And uh, and I guess that'll be it. Oh, there's, there's my mug. I haven't used it in a while. And yeah, I really am a uh, I really am a slob. So uh, these are glasses that I use for props. Uh, that's my expired passport. I can't go anywhere. Old Linux journal, DVD, uh, dead mouse. I need to charge it. Basically, uh, the deal is I, I have these two really nice 30 inch Dell monitors. They're like 4K. They're yeah, 4K monitors. Uh, they are a high DPI, high resolution, but my Wacom tablet is a 13 inch 1080p device and then the 27 inch uh uh landscape portrait portrait mode uh dell monitor is um it's not quite 1080p it's like uh 1440 by something or something like that so it's it's not high resolution though like the like the 30 inch monitors and so the problem is when you install linux after you get past the NVIDIA thing and you finally get your proprietary NVIDIA cards uh, working with Linux, the issue is that you can either do high DPI or not high DPI, but you can't do mix and match. Like on Windows, you get to like zoom, like how many percentage, you know, do you want it to like make bigger or smaller kind of thing? And it just doesn't work here. So what I ended up doing, I'm going to open it up and I'll try to share. Yeah, I can share it on the screen here. Hold on a second. Uh... Oh, well, I guess you don't get my face. Sorry. Um, anyway, maybe that's a maybe that's a blessing. Um, so this is uh, just a terminal. So I'm going to go into my uh, binary folder here and set screen. So 
this is what I have to run every uh, every time I the computer boots up. And I'll go all the way to the top and explain what's going on here. It's okay if you don't understand all this, but basically XRander is the program that you use to specify really like very specific things about like resolutions on monitors and stuff. The problem is uh, with NVIDIA, you can't. You have to use NVIDIA settings and you have to like convert the X render stuff into the NVIDIA format. And basically like I had to transform the um, uh, portrait monitor so that it's zoomed and this is the zoom settings. And then I had to say that's the zoom settings. So that means the viewport in is uh, higher resolution than what it can actually put out. And so I have to specify those differently. Plus it's rotated. Um, and then this monitor is just a regular monitor, but then I also have to place it on the screen like an absolute like pixels apart from each other because uh, dragging them around just doesn't work well when you specify different zoom uh, things for different monitors. So I had to not only specify each resolution, but exactly where they are on this like enormous pixelated uh like landscape and how they're placed and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, uh, that was most of yesterday. I didn't get to sleep until midnight yesterday. And then, uh, so I, I run this script every time the I log in. And so it does that, it, it changes all the settings and I give it five seconds to sleep so that it settles down. Uh, then uh, I start the No Machine, the NX player to connect to the Macintosh uh, computer that you saw. And then I start TweetDeck, which is, like I said, is just a standalone Chrome app. You can like make a web app, a standalone thing. And then I start Nanny. Nanny is the name of the, um, the work app that I was talking about. And then I start Signal and I start Telegram and I start Slack. And you're probably wondering, why do I start all these on default? And I'll show you in a second. But Discord and Trillium and the Stream Deck without the UI. So the UI doesn't pop up and it just runs up in the console. And then once they're all started, I sleep again to make sure that like the slow apps have started. And then <laughs> I use uh, WMCTL, the probably window manager control or maybe just window control. I don't know what WMCT RL is, but anyway, and then I take each one of those apps and I place them in very specific places on the various screens uh, by the size of the window and the exact location so that they all go where I want them. Otherwise I have to like drag and drop windows all over the place and it's super annoying. Uh, then I let it sleep again just because uh, if I do too much at once, sometimes they just interfere with each other. So it sleeps again. And then the Wacom tablet has to be set using command line tools because there is no GUI app for setting the Wacom tablet settings in Ubuntu Mate. There is in standard Ubuntu, but there's no GUI in Ubuntu Mate. So it took me several hours to figure out exactly. I mean, it's only two lines here, but it took me hours to figure out exactly how to get that to work. And then every time the computer reboots, it chooses a different audio output. And so then I have to use this to uh, define my audio output jack on the back of the computer so that uh, the audio works and I don't have to reselect an output every time. And this runs on boot every time I uh, log into the computer. Now, admittedly, I don't log in and out very often. Uh, but what's nice is when I do log in, all of that like entire day's work is then um, it's all set, right? It 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 actually puts all my window. It logs in, you know, logs in, uh, puts all the windows where they need to be, and and that sort of a thing. So anyway, I have spent most of today setting up like OBS and getting cameras to work, and I have uh, like NFS shares mounted where all of my uh, uh, data is, and then I have like an NVMe drive that I use for uh, the main drive and like stuff that I'm editing. Um, oh, my other software is that I use. I use uh, uh, DaVinci Resolve for editing. Um, I'm looking up there. Uh, Termius I use for work. I use a Brave browser. I'm going to try to start using Krita as my uh, comic program, like to draw my comics. So we'll see how that goes. And then I don't have a great plan for whiteboarding here. I'll show you what, what I've been doing. It's called, I don't know. It's like journal with an X. I don't even know what that means. And and maybe this is, you know, maybe I'll, I'll use this. I mean, you can do all sorts of things like change the kind of paper. 
like you could do plain paper and and I can put images on and stuff, but it's a little clunky and it, it's not real super user friendly. So I'm not sure if this is what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna try to use LibreOffice, but it doesn't annotate really well either. I'm honestly not super thrilled with um with my whiteboarding options yet. Anyway, I think this is already a super long video and I didn't mean for it to be, but anyway, that's a tour of my desk in all of its uh, horror. And um, hopefully you'll actually get like some real videos in the near future. And the weekend assignment should be out tomorrow. It's gonna be fun, maybe Halloween themed. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful night. I'm wearing the same clothes I wore yesterday. I need a shower, I'm gross. Uh, but I think I can start tomorrow like a normal work day using Linux, which is kind of cool. I mean, it's cool. It's been a pain in the butt and I'm grumpy about it. I've never been a zealot about only using Linux, but I love Linux and I, if it really works for me, hey, it's gonna be cool. So anyway, have a great night and I'll see you in the next video.